Hey Josh. How are you feeling? I'm okay. It's just no one wants to bunk with me. That's not true. We're going to put the brand manager in with you. You'll be bunk buddies. Really? Yeah. Here's the key. Ah! Jen! Oh, Chris. You're in room three. Oh, right. Cheers. Thanks. Oh, sorry. Wrong room. That shot's very wide. I can't even make out Chris in the car. I think the car really pops against the colour of the vine. Bye, buddy! Uh, hey. <laughs> this is going to be great! Yeah. Got the whole night planned. Uh, Nathan! Oh, Hi. hey. Hey, Jen showing you what you need? Uh, yeah. The car really pops against the colour of those vines, doesn't it? Fruit yes, chops. It Have does. you tried these? Oh, South Australian institution. Yeah, they're, they're very nice. Look, um, Nathan, we're going to need to get some close-up driving stuff. Shots of Chris in the car, pressing buttons. I mean, maybe even talking to camera a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Great. Tomorrow? Great. Hey, got a bunk, brother. You too. You too. Let's go. <laughs> you guys are getting along great. Yeah, what you got in here? Oh, oh no, you went that's electric. my trick. Good choice. What else you got in here? Oh, I just don't know what I'm going to do, you know. I mean, Chris can't drive, and this Lexus guy <sighs> wants him to drive. I mean, oh, God. Hey, listen, don't worry about it. God. We're all right. Man, he's like such a calm dude. He's like the calmest dude I've ever met. Yeah, well, I belong to this group. You know, where we work out a lot of that stress and frustration in life. You know, it's a good place to channel that. Group. And the old dead lady climbed up the stairs. Creak, creak. She opened the door. And the talking baby was in the cupboard. <laughs> Did you know that? Hmm. <laughs> Pretty abstract. Sort of like an inverted vulva, the way it's that... It's a it... landscape. Right. Let's just call it a night. It's been really great. Oh. Thank you. Thank... Oh, because well, I don't feel... OK. May I? good as this. It's fabulous to see it in action. Here at Wirra Wirra, we're looking at grapes, much like the ones we picked yesterday, getting crushed by this machine. It's fast, efficient and reliable. But as a man of the land, I relish a bit of hard work. So I've got something different in mind. And this is it. Here at Samuel's Gorge, this foot stomping vat is still in operation today. And here to teach me the ancient tradition of stomping, I'm joined by winemaker Justin McNamee. G'day, Justin. So you still use these little beauties, yeah? Absolutely. Craftsmanship and in history we find a lot of flavour, so we, we love using these old vats. Well, enough discussing. Let's get crushing. Counting there, Chris. Great. What? You're not giving in here? No, I don't do that. Josh, jump in. Thanks, Josh. Oh. And we'll punch in for the close-up. 
Let's jump over the side. Oh. Yeah, right, OK. Well, can we move Angove to this afternoon, then? That'll be fine. They're lovely. OK, great. What's going on? You left this morning, you didn't give me an address. Sorry, I didn't realise you wanted to come. Josh said you had a late night. Twelve likes, seriously. <laughs> At least he's in the car. <laughs> I mean, why aren't we filming this? It's beautiful. Back. So have you figured out what you're going to do? Me. What about we? What are we going to do? You're, you're part of this show too, aren't you? I'm not really big on problem solving myself. It's more a producer thing, isn't it? Why is Nathan driving the car? Chris should be behind the wheel. Chris doesn't drive. What? Chris doesn't drive. Just hold still. Yeah? There we go. So this is the new Derenberg Cube that we're building. Mm. Tasting room, offices, another restaurant. Oh, it's different. You're not worried about all that glass? You know, a hot day, you'd set everything on fire, wouldn't you? Flaming birds falling out of the sky would be very alarming for the people having lunch. Oh. Chester. Hey. Hey, how are you? Fantastic. Are you yeah. good to go? Yeah, I think so. It's just a bit sort of empty back there at the moment, that's all. So. Yeah, yeah, we're doing a big blending class, but uh, you're a little late. Oh, right, we got stuck behind the bike thing. Oh, two it down under. under. yeah. Everywhere. Could we put our crew in the back of the shop? Could they do the blending class? Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll turn them into winemakers. OK. Why don't we yeah. get that the, the funny old guy we saw driving in? Who? No, the old fogey. So oh, you, you know, no. did the impression of him. No, I didn't. You did, you did. You no. did. <laughs> no, that's my father. Yeah, great I mean, character. Right. What a character. When we saw him, we yeah, said, yeah. perfect Could to be mean? in a scene. Well, the great McLaren Vale grape to wine journey continues. We're up to the really fun part, blending. And I'm joined by my old mate, Chester Osborne from Darenberg Wines. He's going to show me how to make my very own GSM. Now, what does that stand for? How long is this going to take? Just a couple more minutes, OK? Right. I really would like to talk to you. Sure. OK. But right now, we're extras. There's no talking. I understand that, but honestly, I'm quite wild. You, you, you didn't invite We're me. blending. The host we're show. blending. I don't think they can see me in this shot, do you? Because I tend to really freeze up when there's a camera on me. Oh, smell the bouquet on that. Grenache, baby, Grenache. Does this look natural? Well, here we are, Chris's creation. And what do you think, Chester? What's the verdict? The perfect blend? Uh, well, it's got a nice lift and nice body, um, but it's a bit strong on the Mavedra, I think, at the end. Well, you can't just judge it on one sip. I mean, you've got to let it open up a bit. Maybe give it another toast. Darry is a bit of Darry blend. I'm not doing it. Just, <laughs> Josh, hey, let's over the top. Jen, just relax your shoulders. I thought we weren't talking. We're not talking. We're sitting and blending. <laughs> Just let it breathe. Give it another try now. All right. It's exactly the same. Mm. I think there probably is a bit too much Mavedra in this. Do you think? Nathan. We need to talk. All right, not in front of the crew. Oh, come on. Come, come OK, Dagmar just wants to grow an Atmos quite on set. Atmos, we're moving or talking for one minute, please. I told you all about Chris in the brief, didn't I? That is not the image of Chris that you sold me. Tristan. I mean, what am I supposed to tell marketing? He can't drive! I mean, he seems incapable or unwilling to do anything at all on the show. OK, all right, that's Chris, isn't he? He's a lazy, selfish narcissist who doesn't give a shit about anyone but himself. Is it really a surprise to anybody that he yes. can't drive? Yes, it's a surprise to me. I'm pulling the car, no, no, OK? No, no, not... I am under a lot of stress from this. A lot! Oh, stress! Oh, you're under a lot of stress. I guarantee the stress that you feel is a drop in the ocean compared to the daily dose of clusterfuck I've got to eat from Chris Taylor every morning. Mmm, that's good clusterfuck. It tastes so fucking good. OK, everybody, thanks. Atmos, or...? Uh -oh. 